Hello. My name is Shallow. This is Morbid Autumn Map 3 Hate Tectonics. Which is a wonderful pun. Very doomy. Another fantastically rendered outdoor area. Look at this blood canyon over here. <laughs> I got very lucky with that Mancubus. Didn't realize he was there at all. Oh, please don't move too far. Just stand there and get hit by my rockets. Ah, he moved. Oh! Oh no. There we go. <laughs> what is this? Nothing. All right. Oh. Oh, this whole canyon is nothing but monster closets. The geologists explain this to me. How how does this happen? So I'm not sure what's going on with the music. Now it's super quiet. I haven't messed with the settings at all. Music is one of those things that uh, is hard to get right in a wad because you never know what the end user's settings are going to be like. You'd think, though, for a community project that's been put together, you could at least get the, the music right across all the maps. I don't know. <laughs> it's not it's not the biggest problem in the world, honestly. I'm afraid to go into my settings and turn it up though. Cause what if the next map has just super loud music? Oh, get back here, you pumpkin bitch. Alright. Uh, I'm going to take a risk. Uh, sound options. That is very quiet. Okay. Maybe... Maybe it's just this MIDI. I don't know. Whoever was in charge of this uh, community project, maybe you tried your best and... That's just all this MIDI gave you to work with. That's entirely possible. What is this? I just cleared this place out. Oh. Monster spawners everywhere. Nothing behind the waterfalls. No, there couldn't be. Not on this level. Maybe up there. No, not up there either. Not unless you can get up on top of those cliffs. Oh! Stop teleporting in. <laughs> Had just about enough of you. Look at that uh, Kako demon. Has just impaled himself up on that stick there. <laughs> That's great. Here you go, Hell Knights. Eat up. I know, I've been ignoring you, I'm sorry. Have some rockets. Uh, okay. <sighs> hey, there's a Soul Sphere. I don't need it right this second. But I'll keep that in mind for later. Well, there's not really any coming back, is there? see. Um, it's not a whole lot of clues on the map about what this is going to be like, but who knows? Maybe we come back here. And if not, whatever. I'm losing out on potentially 30% health. Not 
too worried about that. Weird. <sighs> Wasn't expecting anything to be there. That's, that's a clever place to hide a, a demon. Especially a zombie, something that can just hit scan you from behind. Oh! No! Oh! These Hell Knights are too big, they're in the way! I can't get the Archmile! Oh, don't pick that up! Oh, no. There we go. Oh, if you have the foresight to kill those Hell Knights a little further away from the Archvile door, that that probably goes a little bit better. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I didn't know that was coming. Oh, the sounds of doors opening as you progress through this map is nerve-wracking. I see you up there, Mr. Caco Lantern. There you go. <laughs> I went and checked the uh, sprites thread. The uh, person who made those Caco Lantern sprites has actually put them together into a nice little wad now, which is cool. It's not a Caco Demon replacer, but uh, if you download that wad, you'll have all the sprites all cut up and with their offsets set correctly so you can do anything you want with them. It's a lot easier than uh, what was previously up there, which was just one big PNG sprite sheet of all of all of the sprites. There we go. This, uh, ah, oh, there's some more shells excellent this map is pretty light on the shells so far it seems to really want you to use the rocket launcher oh no not a pain elemental yeah you stay you stay far away way over on the other side there there you go that's my favorite kind of pain elemental the one that Keeps his distance and explodes harmlessly. Oh, there's another one. No, <laughs> oh, this one's gonna make me peek around and put myself in line of fire of those revenants to get him. What's this way? There's more stuff here. Rocket ammo. Go. Ooh. <laughs> there's the red key. Ooh, there's two of them. I am glad I took a closer look before opening fire. Let me just make sure this pain elemental isn't following me. That's the last thing I need is... Whoa! There he is. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Just let me kill this pain elemental, please. Oh, I beg of you. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Okay. He's lost souls out of here. And that's the red door. Okay, I can't continue down that path anyway until I clear out the arch files. That's fine, that's what I want to do now. Just wanted to make sure that that pain elemental and those lost souls aren't sneaking up on me while I do this. What's best, do you think? Probably rocket launcher. See if they both run at me. Maybe I can get them both with the splash damage. Whoops. Maybe I can get myself with the splash damage. 
Good thing there's a soul sphere here, I guess. Oh no, where are we going? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what's this now? <laughs> Where's the pain elemental? There he is. Oh, right in the middle. What a jerk. Oh. Oh, it's a pumpkin apocalypse in here. Is the pain elemental still alive? I think he's dead. I don't see him. Oh, there's uh, specters in here. I didn't even notice. Guess I just got lucky. I think I can leave. Yeah, okay, this is just the door that lets me back out. Great. Where's this demon coming from? Get out of here. Ooh. Lovely room. I like the little gothic windows in this cave. <laughs> this is pretty neat. These bone textures, I'm not sure what those are from. I've seen those from time to time. They're really, really quite cool. Anything going on with this rock? No, no secret buttons or anything. I think that's just cover. Suspicious candle. Oh look, this is that same banner from before. So that is a, a larger texture. Someone has remade that banner at a higher resolution. Alright, so I've got the red key now. Oh, I was right the first time, it's this way. Yeah. Come on, peek over the edge. Don't... Mm, I was kind of asking for that. Okay. Ooh, that is a lot of zombies down there. <laughs> Same on this side? No, on this side it's just demons. And what shotgun guy? Hey, what's going on? Don't I have the Berserk pack? I guess I just got unlucky on those first couple punches. No, that doesn't open. Okay. And that just brings me back up. Okay. Do I want to bother killing all of these? Maybe. There might be something in that cave for me. Uh, let's find out, I guess. Whoop. Revenants. Oh, and I think there's something off to the right there. It's cleverly disguised with some vines, but I think there's a gap in the wall. Oh, there is, and it's a bunch of imps. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, it's a room that just keeps getting worse. I am quite quickly running out of ammo here. No ammo, no ammo. There's a plasma gun. Oh. Oh. 
Might have to punch out some of these cacos. Or just waste all of my bullets. Ooh. Welcome to the caco cave. Nothing in that wall, no. Well, I'll take the rockets at least. How do I get that plasma gun? Probably by jumping down there. <laughs> I'll do anything at this point to avoid jumping down into that... that dark pit. That doesn't sound like a great idea. Good. Okay. <laughs> Were they behind a fake wall? Or did they just spawn in instantly when I uh, picked up the armor? Must be a fake wall, right? This is limit removing, but I don't think it's using any scripting. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. I'm not sure. I was expecting this to open up. Is this... nothing? I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> only one place left to go. Oh no. Good thing there's a Megasphere down there. I suspect I'm about to take a lot of damage. Where, uh... Um... Ooh, there he is! Thanks for the extra shotguns. Okay, was that it? There's no way. That was all... This was always here. I could have always gone this way. That was a whole extra... thing. Let me explore this a little more. I still haven't got that plasma gun either. Oh, where did all of you come from? What? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like they laid a trap. They knew I was coming back. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so if I don't pick up the Mega Sphere, I hear all kinds of demons in the wall there. Where do they come from? Do they, do they only pop out once I take the teleporter? Wait. Now they come in. Weird. We're the knights, there they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there were specters in here. I didn't, I didn't see them. That's what got me. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. All right, now I understand. I see what happened. Wait, what? Okay, I haven't... I'm so confused. Because 
this time I haven't even I haven't even killed the archfile yet. I haven't picked up that mega sphere or anything. See, it's still sitting there. This time these guys spawned in first. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this area is set up. This encounter is weird. Weird and confusing. Yeah, see, haven't even hit the buttons. Huh. Um, let's take this guy out with the rocket launcher. The problem is, of course, now he's got a lot more options for stuff to resurrect. And I got lucky. He didn't decide to resurrect any knights. Still, though, what the hell is the point of that entire route? It doesn't do anything. There's a way to get that plasma gun. I just don't know what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm lost. I'm moving on. I have a plasma gun from a previous map. It's it's fine. Oh. <laughs> and you get one here as well. <gasps> okay. Oh, instantly teleporting in stuff like that is a nasty trick and I never expect it. Look at this Game of Thrones set over here. <laughs> I love the little Starbucks cups. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I think I will skip that. Oh, I wonder if you're fast enough, if you can make it across that. Probably not. If you were you were smart, you probably prevented me from getting over there no matter what. Ooh. Oh no! Bad time to run out of ammo there. some barons in amongst those imps is great. They're just a big chunky pool of health that you can't easily cut through. It's strange how many monsters on this map seem to be just standing around waiting for the player to cross their line of sight. That uh, Lost Soul there was doing it too. Just sort of waiting for me to show up. Rope walking, great. This looks a little bit like Sigil's first map. Here, let me help you out there, lost soul. You're a little stuck. Is there a pain elemental in there? I don't think so. I think it's just loose lost souls. There's another Caco Lantern down there. Got him. Okay. Now that most of the demons are out of here, let's see if I can get across here without burning my legs off. There we go. Oh, there is a Pain Elemental. All right, not a very effective one because he's tucked away behind a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of health and armor in here. Is there anything good behind that? Yeah, that bends back around behind. Uh, how do I get out of here if I fall into the lava? 
don't see an easy way out, so I'm a little hesitant about jumping down there to try to chase secrets. Um, oh, it's a blue armor. Yeah, I don't really need it. Oh, it's the exit right here. Yeah, maybe I'll pick it up. Is it just a trap? <laughs> Is there no way out? Oh, it's this tiny pillar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll just, uh... I'll just walk out of here with my 170 armor. That's fine. Four secrets on this map. Didn't find a single one. But, uh, that's okay. I'm out. Ooh! Spiral teleporter. Neat. Let's hate tectonics. Uh, Norwich Lane. Sounds very suburban. Ooh. A little stall or a, a, a stables. Mis establos. Mis establos. <laughs> hmm. I love the shadows on the ground. Doing that with sectors is always fun. This is lovely. This almost looks like countryside a little bit. Not quite as cluttered up with trees as countryside was, but it's it's the same sort of vibe. Shotgun in the dark. Alright. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a scary map? Oh, chainsaw. You didn't just spawn in one cacodemon, did you? I feel like I heard more teleports than that. Maybe not. get that armor. Huh. I don't know. It's one armor. It's fine. I'll leave it. I just I kind of feel like it's a hint toward more secret stuff. Not a lot happening here right off the bat, which Which worries me. Oh. <laughs> Pile of corpses. All right. Cool. I'll come back for that soul sphere later if I need it. Good to know that that's down there. What's up here? It's a nice little lookout spot. A burned out old house over there. Look at this tree. There must have been some no sprites rule. For this map set, because there's a lot of neat stuff going on with sectors that I think normally people would just do with sprites. But doing it with sectors gives it its own unique sort of look. I like it. There's a Hell Knight. Never been so relieved to see a Hell Knight. Ooh. Couple of imps over here as well. Look at this. Man, this is awesome. I love 
love how many different options you have too for traversing the map. You can go all the way around all this stuff. Um, nope, that's, wait, what's this? <laughs> Teleporter, that's probably my way out of here. Yeah, I don't think you're meant to be able to leap over there. Yeah, nope, that was a solid effort and it it clearly blocks you from getting over. Okay. What's this? Oh, that is a subtly different sprite. This impaled guy. That's new. He's normally He's normally a regular zombie. He seems to be a He seems to have been promoted. He's a sergeant now. Oh, that chain gunner. There we go. He's a very accurate chain gunner, that one. Who's been digging up graves? Ooh! Get back in there. <laughs> can I, can I go in? No. I'm sure if I play poorly enough, they'll put me in there soon. Look at this. This is a lot like countryside. <laughs> hmm. Blue key. I don't have the blue key. How do I get those goodies up there? I don't especially care about the invisibility, but the map would be nice. Okay. Yeah, this appears to be <laughs> Sunny 666 and a little Misfits logo. Sweet. Oh, well, there's my invisibility. Didn't want it, got it anyway. It's fine. Well, we have one spot we can take a blue key. The store, I think, is closed. Yeah. Take those plasma cells. Hmm. What if I go all the way back to the start here? There's this way. Yeah, I haven't checked this out yet. <laughs> I'll come back to that dark house later. <laughs> Anything up here? Ooh, key. Can I... I bet if I'm careful here... Yes. 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 Okay. One armor bonus. I can't climb in the windows? No. Okay. Key doesn't open that. What is the key for? Probably the main mansion. <laughs> this pile of leaves with all these tiny sector steps. <laughs> oh, that's great. Can I jump in the well? No. No, definitely not. Okay. Well, I think we're going into the dark. Another lovely little table. Here's a keyhole. Wow, nice.
Ooh. Did I hear an arch file in there? Oh, I sure did. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Was it just just four uh, revenants? Oh, I could have sworn I heard an archwell. Maybe not. Okay. Good. Ooh. Oh no, oh, don't lock me in. Oh, I need a flashlight mod or something. This is spooky. Anything behind the waterfall? No. Anything behind the Jesus? No. some rockets that's clearly a door of some kind I can hear monsters behind it um do I get out of here? Oh, you have to pick up the green armor. That's not great. Because I really didn't want to pick up the green armor. I had blue armor already. So, tying progression to a player picking up an item that they might not want to pick up is, uh, probably not a great idea. Okay. Okay, before I go down into the dark cave again, I kind of want to finish exploring this house. Um, which has a very cool, oh, it's the, uh, I thought this was a rug. I think it's the skylight. It's like fallen in and cracked, perhaps? It's a sort of stained glass that, I don't know. I don't know. Anything uh, in here? Ooh, super shotgun. But no, other than that, Okay, it's just a spooky house. All right, back to the cave. Nice. Um, let me get those as well. Lovely. All right. So I'm at 165% blue armor. Uh, can I even pick up the green armor if I'm at 165? I cannot, but you don't have to actually pick it up. It's just a line you have to cross that's close to the green armor. Okay, that's a little more forgivable, I suppose. It's it's still not great because the player might avoid that power up and thereby accidentally avoid the, the trigger line. It's uh, under the right circumstances. It's actually guiding a player away from the path you want them to take to progress the map. This map set was made forever ago. I'm not but by someone who's much better at making maps than me, I should add. 
Um, I'm not giving you feedback here. Just, uh, if anyone's watching this video and you think you want to get into making maps, just the kind of thing to keep in mind. You can learn a lot from good maps, even, uh, especially the mistakes they make, I think. This is a, a, a cool environment. It's a fairly well done little cave dungeon. It's a shame to be down here so much because I've seen what you can do with that big uh, outdoor area and I'd really prefer to be there. <laughs> oh, where is he? I heard the pain elemental. Oh, pain elemental in a dark brown cave. This is a nightmare. <laughs> no. Here. Got him. <laughs> hmm. It's almost a, a sort of abandoned mine aesthetic. I have no idea where that came from. That's where, I guess. <laughs> it's so dark. I wonder if, uh, why are my dynamic lights not on? Usually I forget to turn them off. This is one place where maybe they would have been helpful. Or maybe not. With all the custom decorations going on in this, uh, in this wad, I don't think, like, the custom candles are set up for dynamic lights. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. What the hell was that? Oh, it was four arch vials. Mm. Cool. Oh, cool, cool, really cool. Love it. <laughs> no. All right. This time I'll be ready. Yep, if you're facing the right way, you notice the arch vials. So it's not a complete surprise. Ooh. Oh, hold still, you skinny bastard. Oh, I don't think a single one of those rockets hit him. Ooh. <laughs> yes, run straight toward me. Ignore all the stuff behind you that you could be resurrecting. That's exactly what I want. All according to all according to plan. Oh, I'm allergic to uh, archfile bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I have a blue key now. Can I leave? Is the cave open? It is. Nice. Ah, oh, good to be outdoors again. I've got these these falling leaf textures again on the uh, on the trees. Nice. <laughs> I really like that effect. It's it's super subtle. But I think that's what I like about it. It's the sort of thing you can just kind of sprinkle all over your map. 
but uh, I, I know there's like dynamic rain mods, and those those work good if you want like a lot of rain all the time. I'm sure you could adapt something like that to have just leaves blowing around everywhere. But being able to just selectively pick and choose where you want a couple of falling leaves. It's really nice. Ooh. Hey. Couple rockets, couple of armor helmets. Oops. Falling down into a pit. Give me some shotgun shells. Anything back here? Or teleporters. Okay. Uh, the blue door is way over here. So I've already cleared all this stuff out. Good, good, good. Go me. Hmm. I didn't kill that pinky. Oh, the little beakers. Flasks and stuff. Oh, that's so good. Oh, look at all the evil science happening in here. All the alchemy. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I was expecting a Frankenstein and I got hit with so much worse. Oh, the mid texture chair again. <laughs> Check out the Tesla coils. That, that rules. That is such a cool use of of mid textures. <laughs> I love that. Is there any way to get up there? No, that's all blocked off. Okay. Well, what did I get out of this? What did I get for my troubles here? A plasma gun. And a bunch of new enemies here. Ooh. How come that caught on the wall the first time and not the second time? That's... Uh. <laughs> oh, Revenants. You and your... Frustratingly inconsistent projectiles. Can't jump to that. Am I missing something in here? A switch? Lever or something I was supposed to throw? Hmm. Oh! Okay. I don't think... I don't think I had to do anything. I just had to come back here. That's weird. <laughs> it's a bit of a paradox because asking the player to do nothing is sort of the simplest solution. Um, oh, son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, if you... If you don't ask your player to do anything, then your your player doesn't know that they've accomplished their goal, you know? If I'm I'm not even certain what I did that causes this stuff to spawn in. Is it opening the blue door? Is it killing the archvile? Is it entering the house? Like at what point did did I uh, check the box that says I can move on to the next part of the map? I have no idea. Um, if you just put a switch in there for the player to flip, 
then they know, okay, I've accomplished something. Even if it looks like the door is open now. Yeah. So even, even if the player doesn't know what exactly they've done at first, if I go in there and I flip a switch and then I fight an archvile, I may not know that what I've done by flipping that switch is open this door, but I do know I've done something. So it kind of, it kind of lets the player know, hey, you you did something, go check the rest of the map. You know, you're on one side of the map and a dead end. Go, go back and look around, see if anything's changed. If that moment doesn't happen, if there's no switch flipped, then I don't know that I've done anything and I'm going to keep looking around for a button to press, switch to flip, an enemy to kill, like anything. This is going to be another pick up the soul sphere, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> This, this encounter, I think, kind of works because it locks you in a tiny room with nothing but a soul sphere. Uh, eventually, the player's gonna try to run over that soul sphere. Although a soul sphere is an item that I think you pretty much always want to have. Uh, especially at this point, like halfway into the map. Halfway toward the end of the map. <laughs> You're not gonna be all... 200, 200 on health. Yeah, in this case, I think it worked out. It, it's all about context, and uh, there, there really are no hard and fast rules about always do this, never do that. It, it, there's always a time and a place for everything. Look at these chandeliers. Gorgeous. <laughs> Amazing. This was cool. This was more of an exploration uh, sort of map than a combat map. <laughs> I was literally about to say, there's two enemies I didn't find. And then they popped up. <laughs> So I don't know, in a in an exploration focused puzzle solving sort of map, maybe it's not such a bad thing to to make the player poke around a little more. Um does paintings do anything? No? Okay. They're hanging at weird heights on the wall here. You you know when you put up like twelve of the same painting? <laughs> at different heights all over your walls. Anyway. Here we go. What did that do? No, wait, what did that do? Why is there a switch right by the exit? Why are there candles leading me up to it? What did that do? Oh, did it just open the door so I can explore the map again? If I'm missing stuff, maybe that's probably what it is. Uh, before I leave, I left the soul sphere behind, didn't I? Way back at the start. Uh, is it here? Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Now we can leave the map with 200 health. And we found all the items. Sweet. Good stuff. Uh, I like this map. It's uh, it's a bit odd, I think, being in the middle of a community project like this. it I think it hurts the map because it's not a combat-focused map. It's more of an exploration and puzzle-solving sort of thing. Um, I think if you go into it with that expectation, it's fine if you're coming off of a bunch of fights then hitting this is a little bit of a, I don't want to say a roadblock. You, you got to reset your, your brain, your framing a little bit, I think. Uh, but that's the nature of community projects. Oh, well. Cool stuff. 
That's Norwich Lane. Hey, I'll see you again next time. We'll uh, keep plugging away at, at Morbid Autumn here. Until then, you take it easy.